I mean, I, it's a phenomenal a group of defensive linemen. So you've got, it's a flavor draft to me because there is literally, it's like going to Baskin Robbins, every single kind of defensive lineman you want, we have in this draft. So I start at the very top, and to me, it's with Bosa. You know, Nick Bosa, I got a chance to see his, his brother, Joey Bosa, each and every week. And the hand usage is very similar. Uh, the ability to finish at the top of your rush is very similar. He's got a savviness to him. He's just a natural pass rusher. Some people are just put on this planet to rush the quarterback. Uh, he's one of them. And then you go to Quentin Williams from Alabama as an inside disruptor every game. I mean, I have yet to find a game where he doesn't put his stamp on it in terms of just living in the backfield, pressing off blocks, using his quickness to generate pressure. As an offense, as the season went along, you saw their opponents have to game plan around him, booting away from him, constantly doubling him, having a back there to try and pick up the trash as he's just made a mess of everything in front of him. So uh, he was consistently dominant. And then Josh Allen, probably more of a finesse guy, but off the edge, can really bend and wrap, super athletic, and has the bonus of being able to drop and cover a little bit as well. So those, to me, are the three premier guys, and then there's still a whole host of other names. There's a lot of needs on the team, but I think you get down into the 20s. We'll see how far, keep an eye on Jeffrey Simmons. You know, I know there's there's a video that exists of him, unfortunate thing, uh, he was involved with in high school, but by all accounts, I've been told that Mississippi State was a, was a model citizen unfortunately tore his ACL. Probably going to be a redshirt year for him. Uh, I'm not going to get much out of him in year one. But he's a top five player in the draft. And so when you're trying to find impact players, uh, considering some of the players that were shipped out, um, to me, he would fit that bill. If he was there for one of those picks in the 20s, he's somebody that would make a lot of sense to me. Offensive line, I think there's really good depth, you know, especially the interior group once you get into those middle rounds. Um, I think there's, there's immediate starters. I mean, guys, you can plug and they're ready to play right away, second, third, fourth round. And then, um, you know, why we only have, in my opinion, one first round caliber running back, I think it's a pretty good group. I think there's a good group as you get into those middle rounds as well. Tight end positions, the, the third deepest position in the draft behind the, the D line and the O line. Uh, there's tight ends from here till forever.